Hi, this is BB. It's, I think, after one or just about one o'clock. And I'm in bed. Well, I'm still not sleepy. My eyes are burning, but I'm not sleepy. I'm trying to listen to a book on tape. One of the things I've noticed is a few years ago, I had, um, I was kind of a negative person. Like something had happened in my life that made me feel negative. Like every negative thing that prior had happened to me before, everything came down on me. Every failure, every closed door, every hurt became real and pertaining to that one situation. And um, I was having, I was parked, I wasn't working, I didn't function anymore. I literally got up to go to work, dressed, sat at a train station, waiting for the train. Train came, people got off, people got on, and the train drove off and I was still sitting there. So that was the last day. I, I, I just stopped functioning. And um, so this is why I always say I know when I'm not functioning versus now. This is not me. Back then, I had stopped functioning, basically. And I had a bad relationship with money because all I experienced was scarcity and lack all the time. And not having any money. Just not having any money. And I was actually going through a lot of, you know, changes around in my life. And I was really, really hard on myself. Like, really hard on myself. And one of the things that brought me through it was one day something had happened. And I got to say this. When, when you don't have money and you're unwilling to get a job, because the thought of getting a job was filling me with dread at the time. You don't want to do it. You put yourself in a position where people can say things, and they have every right to, because I was a grown woman, and I should have been more responsible for me. I'm seeing a pattern here, though. Yeah, I was a grown woman, but this negativity was so strong. It was overpowering. I used to feel it like at the top of my head right here. The top of my head like right here was really strong. And um, I wasn't taking care of myself. And something happened. I can't even remember what it was. But I felt so bad for myself. So I went to my room. And I just imagined that I was sitting next to me. And my heartache, my pain was unbearable. Is I felt so sorry for me, for what I was doing to me. I let me down. And that little bit of self-love, it was a lot of self-love. that I had never loved myself before. It was almost like I held me and I cried and I cried and I cried. And when I cried and I emptied out, I got up and I created my website. The same website that can, with a little bit of effort, can bring in about 150000 a year. So, with all this trouble that's happening around you guys and me, always remember this. It'll pass. There's been times in history when lots of crap has happened to people. Lots of crap has happened to people. But it passed. This is why it's history. As Les Brown said, that history has been written. You're reading history, but history is already being is all is 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 being written right now. So you can read about history, but also know it's being written as well right now, which makes sense. I thought that was profound. It's also being written. So this too will pass, and. Guard your thoughts, the negativity, the feelings of frustration, the feelings of overwhelm. Because you'll find that we'll have a lot of those. And most of the time we're angry, angry, angry all the time. But yes, it's unfair. 
is grossly unfair. And yes, part of us wants justice. We want justice for, for because this is this is unfair. The fact that they think they can do this and they get away with it. They get away with it. And for some of us, there are some of us who are die hard. We have people who are die hard. They're trying to kill us because, well, they don't feel safe. They've done who knows what to us, God knows what, for how long, but they don't feel safe. So the best thing to do, I guess, is to eliminate us. The cruelty is, is, is just like, to say the word cruelty is just a word compared to who they really are and what they've become. It's just a word. It pales in comparison to the real thing, the individual. The description is too mild to me. But anyway, I find that that's happening again with the negativity. It's almost like I'm being led where my business is, 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 is being fucked with day in and day out. Every ad campaign that I create is being, is being um, disapproved by Google or by Bing. For no, for no reason. Prior to 2020, never, ever, ever has this happened. I, I don't know. Literally, I don't know what to do. When I think of my business, I get this bad feeling. See, I got to watch myself. When I, get, I think of my business, I get this bad feeling. And that's, that's just what she wants. I don't know what, what she wants, really. To sour my relationship with money. They stole everything I have. What, what, is, what more could she want now? I mean, if they were working my website while I was working it, let's say they had a version of it, or they were directing some of the traffic to their, what they were working it, that's not enough? Well, she has to kill me for a goddamn website? I don't think so. She's not... What is wrong here? People just don't go around doing this to people for no reason. If they had done something wrong, then there should be a court trial. This is not the way to handle it. This is all for some schmuck who has access to this technology and his, his or her thieving ways. This is not from a company. That, I don't believe a company is behind this. That they might be getting the technology from a company, but really and truly they're acting on their own behalf. They're acting on their own behalf. So anyway, just trust that no matter how bad you feel, how sad you feel, how angry you feel, it is going to pass. It has to. It's going to pass. At some point, somewhere along the line, these dominoes that they're laying, somebody's going to put their foot out and push it back. And then all the dominoes will fall. It's going to happen. So take heart. And watch your anger issues because it's only getting us uh, uh, sick, basically. It's just making us sick. Make us look older, make us look sick, make us look like raccoons. You know, we gotta watch that. It's, it's so easy to say, isn't it? Believe me, I'm one of those who knows how hard it is. Because when they come at you, they're coming at you 24 hours a day. But Watch yourself with the negativity. And watch yourself with your relationship when it comes to money and your relationship when it comes to something that you hold valuable. Watch your, watch your feelings. Because they'll try to make you sour against that thing. So watch, watch out for that.